Welcome to the chapter a day Bible reading. Today we are tackling Luke chapter 2 and I'm reading from the NKJV version. Now the Bible says in verse 1, And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Verse 4 Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary his betrothed wife who was with child so it was that while they were there the days were completed for her to be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in his swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for for them in the inn was 8 now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields keeping watch over their flock by night and behold an angel of the lord stood before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid then the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all people For there is born to you this day in the city of David a savior who is Christ the Lord and this will be the sign to you you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger was that in and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace good will toward men So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass which the Lord has made known to us and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger Verse 17. Now when they had seen him they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child and all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them Verse 21. And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child his name was called Jesus the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb Verse 22 Now when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were completed they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it was written in the law of the Lord every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons Verse 25 And behold there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon and this man was just and devout waiting for the consolation of Israel and the holy spirit was upon him and it had been revealed to him by the holy spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ so he came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law Verse eight. He took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, "Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel." Verse twenty three. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel, for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Verse six. Now there was once Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about eighty-four years, who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayer night and day. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of Him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. 
verse 9. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Verse 14. For his parents went to Jerusalem every year, the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days, as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother did not know it. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. Verse 46. Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Verse 51. Well, then when he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them, but his mother kept all these things in her heart, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. And that is a scripture reading of Luke chapter 2 from verse 1 to 52.